Hello everyone, this is Adam Raptor. I am sorry about the long wait for me to release this video. I've just been much too busy with my college classes to upload any videos lately. In any case, today we will be looking at a very bizarre looking and mysterious creature from the US state of Illinois, which we have only recently been able to possibly figure out its true family connection. This creature is known as the Tully Monster. Before I begin, I would like to say that, as always, I will be leaving a list of all of my sources in the description below. And as a fair warning, this video contains parts that are heavily detailed. So let's get right to the actual video. According to the Illinois State Geological Survey, our mystery began in the late 1950s, when the amateur fossil collector Francis Tully discovered the first Tully monster specimen while fossil hunting in the Mason Creek geologic formation, which is located in an area near the city of Morris, Illinois. According to Wikipedia, this geologic formation is made up of ironstone concretions that were formed approximately 309 million years ago in the mid-Pennsylvanian epoch of the Carboniferous period. Just in case you weren't aware of this already, ironstone concretions are essentially a form of the sedimentary rock called ironstone, which forms a hard, compact mass. Also, the Carboniferous period was a time in our planet's history in which giant insects and other land-based arthropods ruled the coal swamps which were pumping out enormous amounts of oxygen into the atmosphere. Anyway, the Illinois State Geological Survey continues by stating that when Mr. Tully, quote, discovered a fossil unlike any he'd ever seen before, he brought it to the paleontologists at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. Although the paleontologists at the Field Museum were unable to identify Mr. Tully's fossil, so they nicknamed the newly discovered organism the Tully Monster after the person who discovered it. Today, the Tully Monster is designated as Illinois' state fossil as the Tully Monster has only ever been found in the state of Illinois. Sometime later, the paleontologists gave the Tully Monster genus the name Tully Monsterarium. The genus Tully Monsterarium only consists of a single species, known as Tully Monsterarium gregarium. This animal can be described as an organism that ranged in length from approximately 8 centimeters, or 3.1 inches, to about 35 centimeters, or roughly 14 inches. It also had a pair of stiff eye stalks, a pair of vertical diamond-shaped tail fins, a jaw-like organ on the end of a long trunk or proboscis, a slender and streamlined body, and as we now know, gills. Likewise, according to Wikipedia, this animal resided in the muddy, tropical, shallow waters of the estuaries that covered what is now the state of Illinois in the Pennsylvanian epoch around 300 million years ago. However, the toy monsters were not alone in these estuaries. As stated by the Illinois State Geological Survey, the toy monsters lived, quote, along with relatives of modern shrimps, jellyfish, squid, sharks, and other marine animals, end quote. The toy monsters' diet and lifestyle are, as of yet, still unknown for the most part. However, it has been speculated that their lifestyle could have been that of a free-swimming predator of smaller aquatic organisms, 
Yet, the biggest mystery for science regarding the Toy Master isn't its diet or its environment, but what part of the animal kingdom the Toy Master belongs to. Due to this creature's strange appearance, it has been speculated that the Toy Master could have been a part of the phylum Mollusca, possibly due to the Toy Master's tail fin having a diamond-shaped appearance, which is similar to that of modern squids, or arthropoda, possibly due to the Toy Master's proboscis looking similar to that of the opobinia. Today, however, the Toy Monster is considered to be a part of the phylum Chordata, which would be the same phylum that includes vertebrates like us. Further still, it is now thought that the Toy Monster may be a part of the family which includes lampreys. This is because, in a study that was conducted on more than 1,200 Toy Monster specimens in the year 2016 by Victoria E. McCoy et al., found that, quote, The nodal cord of Toy Masterarium lies immediately posterior to a three-lobed structure. In some specimens, the two features appear continuous around the eye bar which is very similar to the trilobe chordate brain. The eye bar connects the eyes to the central, or optic, lobe, suggesting that the eye bar protects the optic nerves. A series of quote-unquote medial organs is associated with the notochord, end quote. This is saying that these specimens have been found to contain what is called a notochord, which is a flexible rod made out of cartilage that acts as a backbone for all chordate embryos. However, it is usually replaced by an actual vertebral column later on in life. Yet this research seems to suggest that the Toy Monster did not lose its notochord, much like with modern lampreys. Further still, this evidence shows that the Toy Monster likely had a brain that can be found in chordates. Although one might argue that the Toy Monster has much more in common with arthropods because this organism seems to either have a segmented body like that of modern earthworms, or an exoskeleton like that of modern insects. Yet, in contradiction to this argument, the research finds that, quote, the quote-unquote segments of Ptolemaestorarium are muscle blocks, which have separated as a result of decay, end quote. This is later described in further detail within the article as, quote, There are 20 to 25 myomeres in the trunk and tail of Tullimacerarium, compared to the 50 to 70 typical of lampreys. A low myomere count is often associated with a short, stout body, a tail, with a high caudal fin aspect ratio and tail propelled rather than undulatory swimming. Extant lampreys are undulatory swimmers, but the body shape of Tolemacerarium suggests that it may have approached a tail propelled swimming. End quote. So to clear up a bit on what this is trying to say, the quote-unquote segments of the Toy Monster are actually myomeres, which are blocks of skeletal muscle tissue that are commonly found in chordates, and especially in fish. Additionally, the low number of myomeres in this organism seems to suggest that it had an overall short and stout body shape which means that the Tully Monster probably swam by using rapid side-to-side -side motions with its tail that would have been similar to the swimming method that our modern bony and cartilaginous fish use, 
rather than with the undulatory swimming method that our modern lampreys use. The same article also states that, quote, newly observed structures in the anterior region of the body in some specimens of Tolemoisterarium, spaced in a similar manner to the myomeres, appear to represent gill pouches. These structures are typically wider than the myomere separations and elliptical in shape. Up to five are evident. The myomere separations are most pronounced at the edge of the body, whereas the gill pouches lie close to the midline. End quote. This suggests that the Tully monster also had five gill pouches on either side of the animal's body, which is similar to the seven gill pouches that can be seen on either side of a lamprey's body, therefore providing further evidence supporting the idea that the Tully monster is a member of the phylum Chordata. So, much of the information which I have provided earlier on in this video inspired me to draw this picture of the Tully Monster. In case you haven't realized this already, the image that I have featured on top is of the Tully Monster as it is viewed from the side, while the image that I have on the bottom is of the animal viewed from the top. Also, please note that I have altered this picture slightly from my original drawing of this animal, mainly to remove any unwanted pencil marks. So to wrap up this video, the Tolemonsterarium gregarium was most likely a species of small aquatic chordates that were probably closely related to modern lampreys. And the toy monsters lived in the tropical estuaries of what is today the state of Illinois during the Pennsylvanian epoch of the Carboniferous period. Now before I go, I would like to let you know that I am thinking of doing my next video on either Chunosaurus, Lillian Sternus, an Ostranchevia, or Helicoprion. In case you are new to watching my videos and want to watch more of my content, then please subscribe to my channel. And, as always, I will see all of you in my next video. Bye!